Good morning, it's Barry from uh, Growing Roots Farm. Uh, thanks for watching. I've realized that we built a uh, we built a water system, uh, water rain catchment system off of our barn over the summer. And I realized I didn't do any videos on this. I didn't, I didn't post anything, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, it, it took a lot more work for me to get this figured out than what it probably should have. Uh, and I still don't have all the kinks worked out in it. And I'll kind of go through some of that here in just a moment. But I wanted to show you some of the system and kind of how we got it running right now. So let me turn you around per usual. Okay, so what we got here, I bought two, I think these are 275 gallon. Um, these were food grade um, uh, totes. And that was important. Uh, we wanted something safe. And uh, I, first off, I did a little concrete pad. I wanted these to sit up. Uh, given the amount of weight that's in this little, and it's not very big, but given the amount of weight that's in this water stack, I wanted a good solid surface. I didn't want to just do it on dirt. I was afraid that it would topple over, um, especially in the winds. We get a lot of wind up here on top of the hill. I'm kind of paying over. Like we, we sit up really high. Um, so the, um, so I didn't want the wind blowing this over. So I wanted something really strong and secure. So I went with a little concrete pad on the bottom, formed it up. It was really simple. Um, and then from there, I uh, had a bunch of white oak uh, that would hold up to the outdoor elements pretty well, at least for a while. And and I had some treated lumber as well. So I just kind of used treated lumber and white oak to build this little structure. Um, it is sitting on, on some footers there, little plates. And then to hold the top tote down, you can see these little pieces here that run. They connect down here onto the side. They go under and they hold. Uh, the top two kind of fit in together and it pulls down and holds that down. We've had some really strong winds here since I built this and I haven't seen them budge. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I was just afraid uh, with the wind speeds that we get up here on top of the hill that something uh, this tall may not handle it very well. But so far, so good. Uh, it is run off of a solar charger. Uh, so we have, forget all the numbers on this. I, I got it all at, um, oh, at Harbor Freight. Sorry, I was, I couldn't remember the name for a moment. Had it all at Harbor Freight, got the whole system. Let me kind of get under here so you can see. We just have a little, little battery and out here i got a lot of the wiring up underneath the battery sits underneath you can't see it but on, uh, above it there's some of this plastic um protection here our wind come or our wind and rain comes this way so we have above it covered and we have here um very very rarely do we get wind and rain coming in this direction i could put another sheet over this uh, but so far i haven't worried about it get the switch and then this the pump uh, I got it on here pretty tight it's a little let's see if I can get underneath little um, 12 volt pump uh, from Harbor Freight um, pretty much all the wiring and everything all came as a kit um, it's a you have to have this pump you have to have um, it's not water submersible which is why I got it covered up I don't want to get in, uh, rained on um, and then it is, uh, you have to have the water valve turned on before you would ever turn the switch on. If you run that, uh, dry, I think it's more than 10 seconds. It can ruin it. Um, and then my plumbing and I realized I've got a, I don't think it's coming from here. I've got water coming up from there. Uh, just use one of, uh, some of these flexible, um, flexible fittings to be able to fit on to the nozzle. And then I found all of this, um, I found all this set up off of another YouTuber. And basically I went, I went most of the way, I went step by step on how he sets it up. These are, I think two and a half inch 
with a post. I'll kind of zoom in so you all can see a little bit of how I got it set up. It goes to more adapters. Get your valve. And then we have this little swivel one that goes on here. The only problem I don't like about the swivel, you'll see, is it causes this one to have a kink. Um, I wish, it, I, I kind of wish I, and I may switch it out later, but like a 90 and drop it down so the fittings come down. But what we have is we keep one that we can just like fill up a bucket right below here. And then the other one we run onto a garden hose and we use that one with the pump. So if we just need to fill up a five gallon bucket, we'll turn on that black hose and just put the black hose in and it gravity feeds and it fills a bucket up, a five gallon bucket pretty fast. But if we got to run water to a longer distance, that pump, even though it's pretty small, works really well. Um, we've, uh, we've used it going back up the hill and I know this is, it's hard to tell. That's, it's probably 12, 15 feet high going back up onto the hill and that small pump has managed that uh, without much trouble. So we've been able to fill up water animals up there. And then let me spin you around so you can see the gutter. The gutter here was, this was kind of the tricky part for me, was finding the right fittings. Um, and as you can tell, I used the corrugated, um, um, all flexible piping and I made a uh, like a 45 degree or a, or a, I forget what it is I made a fitting that goes in the very top uh, of the uh, and I attached it to the lid uh, and secured it to the lid so the water essentially runs off the ground off the barn in and then when it overflows it runs out here and down and out our gutter and out uh, that's just the overflow on it. Now, I still have some things that I would like to, to tidy up with it to make it run a little bit better. But for right now, I'm pretty pleased. It, it allows us to uh, water a lot of the animals without having to pay any anything else. And then next summer, we didn't get it going this year. Um, part of the reason we did this also, we got the greenhouse right there. The greenhouse, we water... Uh, you know, you have to water stuff in there all the time. Um, and it's, you know, 40 feet away, something like that. M my plan is, is to run some uh, lines over there and try to do, um, I don't know if an irrigation system will work up in there, but at least have uh, rain catchment water doing the greenhouse the majority of the time. So we don't have to pay for the water for the greenhouse. Um, just, to, just to cut down cost. But that is uh, our water rain catchment system off of the back of the barn. It works great. I do plan to add more later on. And I'm also considering a big reservoir tank that we pump it into up on top of the hill. But that is definitely a project for a later day. All right. But uh, if you've watched all this, we really do appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, like, share if you can, and, and leave us a comment. I love getting some comments. I read them all. Uh, thank you, and uh, stay tuned for next time. See you.